War. War never changes. Since the dawn of man, when tribes beat each other to death over necessities, the will to power has been the driving force of mankind. When the great fires of humanity's ambition ravaged the earth, it was not our doing. For the bloodiest chapter of human history had only begun. Britain was not spared the hellfire. And London, a monument to mankind's ambition, was returned to the state of nature. Those who emerged from the ashes did so from a network of underground bunkers known as Pindar stations. And so it was that the embers of civilization would ignite once again. Over a century later, through the military might of the Tommies, an aristocratic parliament continues to give orders. But few are still listening. In the Tower Hamlets, the fifth column rises. Training drums beat and uniforms march, all in the name of their dear leader, Eve Varney. Across the Thames, in the pastures of Richmond, a great army gathers strength. Styled on the Camelot Knights of days past, they're headed once more unto the breach. For there are whispers of angels beneath this hallowed land, a curtain of illusion and intrigue, a puppeteer behind the scene. Only one thing is certain. Those who take the road to Westminster will be forever changed. Because in mankind's pursuit of power, there is no price too high, no life too valuable, and no ideal too sacred. Because war, war never changes. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Stand clear of the door, please. Well, here we are, guys. The long-awaited... Subject has been performing adequately. No spikes in visuals. Nothing unusual. Perfectly usual. Quiet. Smythe will be pleased. How are they in appearance? Uncertain. Perhaps we should take a closer examination. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't even finish my sentence. The long awaited. Fallout London. Just dive in the character screen here. I'm not really too precious about what I look like. Anything like this. Let's just go for this dude. Um, face. Give him a quick beard. Facial hair. Uh, what we got here? Give us a real beard. Come on, man. Wow, there's lords. Here's me saying I'm not precious about how I look. Right, that'll do. I just want to get into it. Back. Uh, let's just go for it, man. Uh, check our body. Let's go muscular. As always. Done. Right, let's dive right in. Hopefully see what awaits us here. Yeah. Excellent. A rapid progress is being made. And with zero anomaly. Of course. Now, what about their physical and mental development?
Right, name. Oh, right, I'm gonna have to. I'm on my controller here. I'm gonna have to. Uh, what can I call him? Let's call him Dave. Oh, will it even let me do anything? Dave. Dave, done. Right, let's have a little look here. Uh, I traditionally like fairly high agility. Oh, God, we're running out of points already. Uh, Look at this, oh my god. Uh, right, let's look. Let's give it a look, I'm not too fussed actually. Charisma, endurance. Fairly balanced, I guess. I wouldn't mind a little bit more intelligence and agility, but let's, uh, let's go with it anyway. So I have played the first Fallout on the channel. Please go back and watch it if you haven't already. <laughs> I love Fallout 3. Love, 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 love Fallout New Vegas. Fallout 4 isn't quite as good, but still, I do really enjoy it. Put hundreds of hours into all the Fallout games, and I've been really eagerly awaiting this one. Uh, so let's just go right in, I guess. Just check in. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, no, let's stick with this. What we got here? Traits. Let's have a look. Uh, Uh, gifted suffer so minus 15 um, what else we got here wow often find yourself waking up in strange places with no memory of how you got there ok I like gifted Minus 15% experience gained, I think is worth it. And then, uh, what's this? Wow. You gain 10% movement speed, lose 50 pounds. Wow. Uh, harder. Well, movement speed drops to zero. When right, I do I do hoard a lot of stuff, so I am going to go with that, I think. Up to two traits. Okay. Um, so, close. So we're in some kind of tank here. We can look around at least now. Gentlemen, oh. I trust everything is going well. Tremendously so. In fact, it may be our best work yet. Good. The subject looks ready for conditioning. Within a week or so, we can wrap up phase one. Thank you, sir. I'll set phase one on autopilot. See that it's done. So there's the boss man over there. Seems to be rousing a bit. Not to worry. Let's put them back under. Whoa. Jesus. <laughs> Running out of water here. Can't even look around anymore. Oh, here we go, we're coming to. Started Broken Angel. Can we even get out here? There we go. Oh, look at that block, that's nice. Jump over, oh, got to have to punch this a little more. Come on. Jump out. Oh god, I have to just batter the glass around me, do I? Right, surely now. Thank you. Right, what's this guy carrying here? Angel lab coat, welding glasses. Let's take that and that. Let's take it all for now. Uh, the other guy, don't know where he went. I might just mess about with the sensitivity shortly. Oh, here we go. Uh, Radex toothpaste. Surgical trait. Oh, they fingers and ears. Wow. Oh, fingers and ears. Let's give them into the. Uh... Oh my god, what they're called in Fallout 3. That's going to bug me. Wow.
ghoul head in a jar. Nice. Uh, right, okay, let's go. Oh, there's somebody else here. Oh, wow. Head blown clean off. Okay, so they're blown in through there. Let's quickly nip down here, see what we got. Dead scientist, angel lab coat. I've already got this. these systems no this one nope okay so nothing much here for us right will this door open or do we have to go through the little hall there yeah check this nothing oh what have I done I <laughs> picked up a fuse, didn't mean to do that. Fire here. Oh, security turret, broken. Wow, shots fired. Door open. Oh, nice, what the hell's all this? Rats there, or big, big rats actually. To be fair, <laughs> massive. Uh, what's this? Oh, bobby pin. I love that. Bone cutter. Don't need terminal. Use. Wow. Oh, unauthorized content redacted. I have redacted and corrupted your file. Oh. Oops. Log entry. The troopers have secured us a batch of the rad shrews for testing. I would have preferred working with rad rats, but it seems they were chased off by their counterparts. Judging by the size of the rad shrews in London Bridge Station, I don't entirely blame them. So shrews are, what, like, big, uh, well, certainly big rodents, aren't they? But testing on the captured rad shrews is going well. Multiple have died, but the remaining ones are stronger than ever. I'm especially proud of the one we affectionately refer to as Big Dave. Must be me. I'm now going to move us on to the next stage of development, which will introduce more vitamins into their diet. We'll also simultaneously reduce their feed to see how they cope. I predict a lot of them will die, so we better get the nets ready to capture some more. Smile should be content with the results. Progress has been made and exciting new things have been discovered. Not only did the Radshrews surpass expectations, but some of the results correlated with our prior subjects next door. Utterly fabulous to see it all coming together. With any luck, Smile will visit the laboratory soon and see our progress. The Radshrew. A small, carnivorous mammal, the Radshrew seems to have mutated from its much smaller counterpart, the Common Shrew. Unlike the Common Shrew, which was insectivorous, its evolution along the food chain now permits it to hunt much larger prey. The Radshu has tiny eyes and a large nose giving it a keen sense of smell. Radshrews snuffle through the undergrowth for their prey and can be found in most habitats but prefer dirt flooring, woodland and grassland. Active by day and night, they are very territorial and aggressive for their size and can sometimes be heard fighting, their high pitched squeaks particularly noticeable during the summer. Oh, most Radshrews have mutated to have lost most of their, bleh, most of their fur and have grown sizeable front teeth. Where there is hair left, there are thin, tiny hairs that in low light allow the Radshrew to navigate through touch rather than sight. The pair of protruding front teeth and bulky masseter and temporalis muscles have greatly increased its biting power, perfect for tearing flesh from carcasses or defending itself from larger predators. The Radshrew is fast, reaching speeds of 24 km an hour, and with large hip extensor muscles, it can change direction in quick and unpredictable ways. Often scavenging with the rest of its horde it can be difficult to single out any one individual. And I bet they eat people now as well. Unlocking the door. Whoa! Oh my god! Uh, shit! I'm gonna have to punch him, am I? Oh! Shrews. Come on. Right, I don't suppose I need 
Rush through high, still not really. Not so much here. Pick up the device. What is the device? Oh, this. That's like a. I guess it's our Pip Boy, is it? Some kind of Masonic symbol everywhere as well. at all. Escape the facility. Whoa! Utility belt? Uh, am I wearing that now, am I? Apparel. Uh, test subject suit. Utility belt. Yep. Yeah. Right, screw. Don't really need that. Uh, can we get into Smythe's terminal here? Right, does the old trick work? Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> right, let's see what we've got here. Uh, stuff is clicking in the background. Xbox controller is very clicky, I don't know why. Always has been this one. It's not going to work. been ages since I've actually uh, gone in and hacked any of these. Uh, oh my Christ. So, what one? Well, which one? For some logs. Patrol up in Newham has discovered a stockpile of American technology hidden away on a military cargo plane at London City Airport. The flight logs suggest it was grounded after the United States annexation of Canada and held in containment until the bombs fell. Curious. I'll have some of it brought down, see what's salvageable. Say what you will about the Americans, and I always did, but their technological trinkets were delightful. Let's forget the atom bomb and look at their more practical contributions. Take the pip boy, for example, a Robco design. It's a marvellous little invention. It contains all one needs to carry out daily tasks. It has a radio, GPS, task management, and countless other utilities. Who needs a brain when you have all that? Obviously, I would never need such a device, but I could see it having some use. I'll reverse engineer it. There was always room for improvement with Robco inventions. I have come to the correct conclusion that a wrist-mounted device would be impractical for use within my organisation. Whether it be the scientists or the troopers, they must have immaculate accuracy. A hunk of metal strapped to their wrist would hinder that. Yes, a handheld ergonomic device would be suited to our needs. I'd also like to install a proper Geiger counter. Don't get me wrong, it's impressively concerning that they had the foresight to include one. But, one, but you can barely read the thing on this model. Not ideal. I had a look at some other models. Turns out vault -Tec made some revisions of their own, specifically some kind of video-assisted targeting system. Intriguing. 
Our troopers, of course, can already outperform this technology, but I might as well include it. I'll also make it compatible with the laboratory maglocks. Why not? So that's our ticket out of here then. Looks like I'm nearing completion of this little project. The Atter Boy <laughs> has finally been born. Angel Technological Task Assistant. I just need to iron out a few kinks and we'll have a working prototype. Though I'll have to put this project on the back burner for a while. There are far more pressing matters to deal with. Brilliant. The Atter Boy. Uh, that's the bobby pin. Does this? Oh, does this do anything here? That's obviously the door lock, but it's some kind of spare one. Oh, here we go. Door controls. Boom. At a boy docking port. Ah, <laughs> blow on it. N64 cartridge. Literally just got a school dinner bell there. Right, what else have we got here? Uh, oh, still nothing. Thought I had footsteps there. Nine millimeter round. Inaccessible. Oh, what the hell have I done there? Still nothing. It's right. got no power. The bloody thing won't budge. Winston, you have a doubt. You got it, boss. Uh huh. Yeah, no power. I can remove it from the main network. But. What the fuck's that on my camera? Where else do I look? Ain't they one of the ports? I don't give a fuck. Just get us out of here. They'll have to find the wrong way. Oh, they're watching me through that camera there. Oh. Emergency power. The hell? Torch. Torched. Oh, look at that. Take. Right. Like it was hand. Oh, look at the bulbs. I don't need the bulbs for the torch, do I? I hope not. Can you imagine? Oh, look at this, man. This looks insane. Nothing on that terminal there. What are all these? Egg timer, chemistry station. Don't have anything to actually craft here. Stim pack, hypo. Uh, energy cell. I'll have anything that might be of any use here. Spired syringe. IV bag? Wow. Is that rat poison? Could be handy. Lab scale brain fungus. Can we, uh, we can eat that, can we, later on? If we need. Another dead scientist. Somebody's broken here and just killed everyone on site, haven't they? Can't. Where are you going? Wow. Is he the boss? I doubt you'll make it far. Someone such as yourself. You were more useful as a lab rat. But uh -oh. alas, it seems I'm not long for this world. Oh wow. It's a shame, really. There was so much I wanted to do. Off you go then. Be seeing you. Oh my god, what's going to happen to him? He looks like the mysterious stranger. Anything there? It does say emergency decontamination, so I should probably get out of here quick. Bobby pin. I'll have that quickly. Oh, bye, dude. Going up. Up we go. Get in there? Nope. This is incredible. wait to get to the surface and see what London looks like.
I'll have a lift ride. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Look at the size of this jingle. You are quite the wayfarer, aren't you? Oh, look at this guy. Escaping all that hubbub. With all you've been through, I'm impressed. It seems I neglected to introduce myself. Very unprofessional of me. I'm Mr. Smythe. And you? Well, it doesn't matter who you are. Now, I'm sure you have many questions, and perhaps someday I'll answer them. But for now, Wayfarer, let's not stand on parade. Since I'm all for giving one a sporting chance, I've unlocked the doors. Go. Stay safe, and remember, mind the gap. Wow, okay. Mr. Smythe. Oh, we can get in the phone box. Can't do anything when we're in there, but still. Is that Sinjin Smythe? Isn't that what uh, Bond would call himself in one of the movies? Chained. Oh, London Chained. Wow. Okay, right. Oh, look at these old uniforms. Mannequins, scary as hell, man. I want to check everywhere before we go. Rubbish bin, look at those. It's the attention to detail is unbelievable. You probably have to be English to <laughs> to understand some of these or to understand the attention to detail at least. Shard concierge. Oh, we're in the shard? No. Welcome to the shard. Attention all staff, welcome to the shard, London's premier luxury hotel and residence. We extend our warmest greetings to all guests arriving during this tumultuous time. Rest assured, your comfort and safety are our top priorities. Please enjoy your stay, and do not hesitate to contact our concierge for any assistance uh, that you may require. Throw the peasants out. Well, in light of the ongoing resource war and heightened security measures, it is imperative that we maintain strict access protocols. Please remember that individuals of lower standards or class are not permitted entry into the building under any circumstances. Report any breaches immediately to security personnel. We are experiencing minor issues with plumbing in several guest rooms on the 12th floor. Maintenance has been informed and is currently addressing the situation. Guests affected have been relocated as per protocol. This needs to be fixed within the week or you can find yourselves another job. <laughs> Thank you for your attention to this matter. Don't let the mice in. As we continue our valiant defence against unexpected visitors and mice, let's ensure our hotel remains impenetrable. Keep the access points to the shard locked tighter than a jar of warmite and <laughs> report any suspicious characters, human or mice, pronto. Thank you for your cooperation. It's been a while since I've had warmite. I can surely I can say the brand name, Marmite. Oh football, nice. Um I haven't had Marmite for a while. You either love it or you hate it. Right. What's this? Underground London Bridge? I don't know where I want to go. I want to go up the top, I guess, really. Can we get some uh, pre-war pounds? Oh, no. Mouldy food. Pre-war rations. Nice. Pre-war rations. I don't know what has any value just yet. Uh, cleaner, I highly doubt it.
Right, let's uh, go up the escalators here. Nothing here. Ammo though. Shotgun shell. Military ammo bag. Take. I'll have that. Nothing up here for us then. So it might be that the only way actually is the station. But we'll see. Um, we'll go check this escalator out here. Jump distance is seems quite far which is good is this jumpable to anywhere uh, no it won't actually let me oops there we go got no idea what I'm doing here could uh... oh no it doesn't take me anywhere uh, let's just get down all those boxes there, should be fine, yep. And then, I haven't been, I haven't been in here, no. Antiseptic. Oh, yes. Viscount Nelson. Stimpak, Morphex, Antiseptic. Morphex, presumably, instead of Medics. Okay. Right. Up these ones. So there's a lift here. Have I, I didn't come from this, did I? No, I didn't. Right, so I'm going to skip the underground just for now. See if I can go anywhere here. Going up. Going up. Here we go. Going further up. Oh, big shrew. Wow. I've been poisoned. The hell? <coughs> Can I just... Do I need to... I could do it with a weapon of some description here. What <coughs> the hell? Come on, dude. Seems to throw like insanely heavy punches. Strength seven needed, did you open me? Uh. Oh, what are my special stats? Because I took Four, five, four, yeah, seven. Mm. If I knew what the perks were, I would have redone those specials, but. Right. Kill lock. <laughs> Genius. We're through. Oh, naught. Do it. Come on. Take the table knife. Ooh! Jesus Christ. I thought we know is this some kind of thing here where if I jump it, it lands me in water, but it absolutely does not, does it? Okay. There is clearly only one way to go. Big enormous door knocker, can we do anything with this? Nope. Radshrew meat. Is it edible straight from the off? Yeah. 15 HP, wow. 10 rads, holy shit. Right, down we go. I 
I am loving this. Lobby. It just brings back that magic of the first time of a Fallout playthrough. First time of a Fallout playthrough, first time of a Elder Scrolls playthrough are always, for me at least, the best experience in games. London Chained. This is not the one I wanted, was it? No. My favourite game is Oblivion. Without a doubt. Uh, where the hell was I wanting to go? Oh, it was there. Here, wasn't it? Yeah. London Underground. Right. This is no graffiti, but the sp spray paint here. This is super atmospheric. I don't. The combat system just seems a little. I don't know. Janky for me. I could do with some kind of melee weapon. Ideally. Surgical gloves don't need. Stall, nothing. Get in here. Caution. Oh shit. Rad shrews. Oh. Come on. Tunnel cough is a killer. Impact, I love that. Wow, it's grim. Oh, stood in a skeleton. Oh, beer, just beer bottles. Another shrew. Come at me, shrew. Oh, <laughs> oh right. Protect and survive. What does that mean? Trafalgar Square is now permanently marked on your map. Right, here we go. Can hit people with my cane now. Try and get into this safe. Oh. Pistol, yes. Hero slows time for 10 seconds, Morphex, pre-war money, right away, beautiful. Just gonna fiddle with this volume ever so slightly. Let's try it there, you might see that on the screen, I apologise. The headphones turn the volume down but then it shows it on the screen whenever I do it as well, <laughs> and I never understand why. Uh, oh, we're in the pub here, come on. Teaser? Whatever that is. Pre war money? Yes. Bar open. Nice. Yeah, super atmospheric down here. You can hear the wind howling. Can't quite get into that. The cake shop. Nice. Yeah! Yeah! Ticket. Oh, we can get through the machine. Oh, birthday cake. Yeah! Yeah, what a noise. Cherry Bakewells. <laughs> Get in there. Birthday cake. Little pumpkins. Pink wafers. They can't be edible still after all this time. I'll have them. 
sweets. Are these all edible? Oh, teddy bear. Poor thing. Tin can. <laughs> well, didn't do much. Right, anything I may have missed here? Don't think so. Ticket. Next stop, out of service. Huh. Right, anything... Do I just jump over them in the end? Ticket, take. There we go. God. Right, there was the little ticket booth here, wasn't there? Novice lock. Oh shit, I've snapped it straight from the off. Screens are buggered. I've got enough tickets. Do I keep my tickets or do they go? Junk. Oh god, I've got so much junk. Uh, where could the tickets be? Can't be classed as aid, is it? Nope. Oh, strange. I'll take a ticket. Just in case. Advanced. Oh, lock is too difficult. Right, there's some serious noise here. Shit. Rajroot. I'll listen to Big Ben. Where's the Rajroot? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Ooh, ah. What a noise, honestly, man. Underground station. Novice. I'll do that in a moment. I'm just want to look up here quickly. We are. Oh, sh hang on, the, tra the train is moving. Oh, what? Look at it. Rat. Whatever those scientists did to you, it took its toll on your body. Until you find a cure for this ailment, you'll take ten times more damage in combat. No wonder I was getting battered by the shrews. Further investigation into your origins may lead you to the remedy. Railway spine. That crash left you rattled, and it'll take more than a stim pack to fix this kind of damage. Until you seek out a medical professional, you'll deal 10% less damage in combat. Oh, what? On the mend, cue your afflictions, investigate your origins, seek out a doctor. Guys, the size of the smile on my face right now. That is, turn the volume down, I can hardly hear myself speak here. 
that is where we're going to leave it for tonight as we get ready to set out and explore London. Super loud this. <laughs> Can't get over how loud it is. Yeah, we're going to set out and explore London tomorrow. Is there somebody down there? Can't quite tell. But yeah, this is where we're going to leave it for tonight. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Obviously, this size, the smile on my face. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely buzzing. But yeah, anyway, anyway. Oh, I want to keep going. But no, we're going to leave it there for tonight. I want to play this in more depth tomorrow. I'm going to try and upload as often as possible over the next uh, week or so and get this game out to you all as much as possible and as quickly as possible. So guys, if you're as excited as I am, please drop a like and if you'd be kind enough to subscribe, I'd be eternally grateful. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.